Vim dançar mamãe Cá dançar mamãe Cá bodeia mamãe Mamãe me papca peio Mamãe me vai dar a licie I like the YWCA because I learned a lot that I didn't get in school or from my family either. Things like puberty and a lot of other stuff. Life in Haiti for women from an economic standpoint starts with a lack of access to education for little girls compared to little boys. This has long-lasting consequences. Girls end up with fewer educational opportunities and this ultimately impacts their economic futures. When you look at the legal system here, there aren't many laws that actually protect women, or if they exist, they're not enforced. From a cultural standpoint, violence against women is almost accepted as the norm, now less and less because of the work of some of the women's organizations. And I'm proud to say there's been progress here in the past 20 years. So although there's been some progress, there's still a lot of work to do. When you look at the economic difficulties in this country, women are severely affected. 43% of our women are heads of households. So when women find themselves in difficult economic situations, this means that 43% of our families are in very tough shape. We didn't want to become rescuers. We wanted to have a clear motto and curriculum, and we wanted to impact young girls and women's uh, mentalities. We wanted them to know that even without financial resources, they could become strong leaders, they could make changes in their lives and take responsibility for things that are happening in their community and in their country. We have an educational system that is very weak and so in schools there are certain themes that are not or subjects that are not discussed. For example, sexual health and reproductive rights they are never discussed with young women. And so young women very often are exposed to sex way before they've learned or they understand their body. And much younger, we're finding, there are certain life skills that aren't taught in school. And parents don't transmit this information to their children because they are taboo subjects. Providing these young women with this information allows them to change their behaviors, allows them to see the situation differently, and allows them to realize that they can be tools for changing the society. What we try to get them to see and what we teach them is that it's not up to somebody else, it is your responsibility. So it's time for you to take action and it's time for you to create that change. And it's time for you to start communicating with other women and other people that are in the society, other segments that are in the society to be able to help create that change. All of our young women here, with all they have to do, come because they have a thirst for knowledge and a quest for a better life. And for us, who had the privilege of access to certain opportunities, it's our work to give back, to give back what Haiti gave to us. Because Haiti gave a lot to her children, now it's our time to give back. As for me, I have faith in Haiti. I have confidence.